Andy McKenzie has come back home. It is the final episode in the Andy McKenzie career mode series on Madden 16. And we finish things here in Minneapolis. It is Super Bowl 52. The New York Giants and the Houston Texans. McKenzie helps lead this team to a Super Bowl championship in his rookie season. And he's back looking for his second ring right where he grew up in the Twin Cities. He was a dynamic quarterback at the University of Minnesota, never led them to a national championship, but did put together three very impressive seasons. This is essentially a home game for Andy, and we'll see if he and the dynamic offense built here in Houston, along with their defense, can they win their second Super Bowl championship. They're sure coming in after an impressive performance after five touchdown passes from Andy McKenzie against the San Diego Chargers, three of those to Josh Hill, and that was against one of the best defenses in the NFL. Now, it's the Houston Texans and the New York Giants. Let's get into Super Bowl 52, the quest for Andy McKenzie's second Super Bowl ring. First quarter scoreless, first drive of the game. Here is Andy McKenzie under center, and the Giants get the pressure going right away as Andy McKenzie goes down on his very first drop back. To second down and 15, the Giants blitz and pressure's there again, McKenzie nearly picked off. Already a lot of pressure from New York, they send the rush on third and 15, but McKenzie counters as he connects with Josh Hill for a first down. Out to the 31 yard line, another blitz and another sack of Andy McKenzie, he's sacked by Jabal Sheard. Again, the Texans facing a third and long, another blitz. McKenzie flushed outside the pocket and overthrows this pass for Jalen Strong. Not a great opening possession, but after a Brian Cushing interception, they're back to work as Oliver tries to get the run game going. And he doesn't go too far. Third down and seven now for Randy. No blitz, and McKenzie connects on the outside. That is DeAndre Hopkins moving the chains. They're into field goal range. Another third down, McKenzie needs five. He dumps this off, and James Starks is right there at the marker. And they do extend the possession, so at the Giants 26, McKenzie sailing sideline for Riley, and it's incomplete, almost intercepted. So another third down and long. From the pocket, down the middle, connecting with Jalen Strong, the Texans get first and goal. Big 24-yard pass by Andy, and then first and goal, it is Oliver. McKenzie trying to push the pile, but Oliver is stopped at the two. Second down and goal in the I formation. It's a handoff again, this time diving in for six. It's Brandon Oliver with the first points of Super Bowl 52. Let's take this into the second quarter. They have kept Odell Beckham and the Giants offense scoreless. Here's Oliver with some running room off tackle as he bounces this outside to the 36. It's a third down and four from the 42 as pressure forces a quick pass and McKenzie has Malcolm Riley, good catch and a first down from their own 45. McKenzie stepping up again and down he goes. The pressure continuing for New York. They force another third and long, McKenzie needs 15. He's rolling, nowhere to go and just gets rid of it. Very impressive defense early on by New York with their offense. Still hasn't gotten anything going with two Eli Manning interceptions. In their next possession, they try to get Shane Vereen established, but end up unable to pass later in the drive and punt it back to Houston. Play fake now. Off balance for Darrell Young as he picks up the first down. He did a nice job in the previous playoff matchup. Two minutes to go in the first half. McKenzie fakes, throws, and finds Jalen Strong as they get from one 47-yard line to the other. Then third and one, inside give, and there is a nice run by Brandon Oliver, taking it down to the 39 of the Giants. Looking to make it a two-score game before the half. McKenzie, as he's hit, floats it outside and overthrows that for Josh Hill. Pretty good coverage. And then some zone read. He doesn't get the block he needs from Hopkins, but still picks up about eight yards. They finally get into a third and short. Empty formation and a first down. Roberts with room to run. Inside the five for a Texan touchdown. The speedy rookie on the big 31-yard catch and run makes it 14-zip. 
Roberts, of course, played a big role when Josh Hill was hurt for around half the season, and it's great to see him here in the Super Bowl getting a chance and making the most of it. Can they keep Eli Manning and the Giants off the board? They drive in the air, get a field goal before halftime, and the Texans get a kick return for a touchdown to begin the third quarter. We're going to go forward after a giant punt. It's 20-3 as McKenzie somehow gets this to Malcolm Riley. He gets crushed again, but delivers the perfect pass regardless. At the 47, sailing again, and Jalen Strong goes up to get it. They're making plays all over the field, back in field goal range. Pressure and down goes McKenzie. The blitz gets there. It's Leon McFadden. Third down and 19 for Andy. And he overthrows for Jalen Strong. Looked like Strong was trying to get into a different spot, and McKenzie is picked off as the Giants take over at their 31. And they use the running game to work their way down the field and into the end zone for a giant touchdown, 20-10. to Texans at the 20, late third quarter, and McKenzie's intercepted once again. Back-to-back -back turnovers, this time it's Darian Stewart, and the Giants' defense is helping them mount a comeback. They score a touchdown as the third quarter comes to an end. They've scored 14 unanswered. Can McKenzie regain his composure and keep the Texans in front? At the 30-yard line in the fourth quarter, a third down as Oliver gets the call, and he's right there at the marker, but a flag comes in, and it's on the Houston Texans. Instead of converting, they back up third and 12. The Giant defense has stepped up, now has the Texans in a very tough situation. McKenzie outside the pocket, downfield and nearly intercepted once again. The Giants completely turning this game around, trailing by three, get the ball back. A big 29-yard pass to Odell Beckham, 16 to Shane Vereen. But Brandon Whedon had to come in after a sack, and they end up having to settle for a field goal. 20 apiece as New York scored 17 unanswered. McKenzie needing to get this offense back on track. He hits this third down pass to DeAndre Hopkins. And from his own 33, looking to run to his left, but Jason Pierre pulls there. McKenzie lost the football, the Texans keep it, but the Giants again make a big play. It's third and 24. Just a draw to James Starks. And he fights out toward the 25-yard line, but they have to give it back to New York. Eli Manning back in the game, but a big three and out by the Texan defense. Three minutes left to go. Hands off Oliver, straight forward. And for a first down, he takes it up to the 41-yard line. All they need to do is get in field goal range. The two-minute warning is approaching. McKenzie scrambles and finds DeAndre Hopkins as he clears the linebacker zone. And that's a first down to the giant 40. They're close to Mason Crosby's range. Play fake, spinning, McKenzie connects with Fisher Roberts. Their biggest play in a long time. They get to the 24 of New York. Well within Crosby's range. Trying to make it closer now with a minute 14 to go. Hopkins on the catch inside the 20. And the Giants have to begin using their timeouts. On second and short, this is Oliver, and he's going nowhere. Another big play by this defensive line. It sets up a pivotal third and four. McKenzie goes play action bootleg. He's hit, but connects with Fisher Roberts for the touchdown. Perfect throw by Andy McKenzie. And the second score of the day for Fisher Roberts. Signature Andy McKenzie. The play action rollout and the perfect throw. Dropping it in the bucket for Fisher Roberts to give the Texans a seven point lead. Last chance for Eli and the Giants to get one big play to Odell Beckham and that is it. The Houston Texans win Super Bowl 52. Andy McKenzie wins the Super Bowl in Minneapolis. A perfect end cap to the Andy McKenzie career mode series. We began his journey back on my Minnesota Gophers dynasty, and we have come full circle. Andy McKenzie now a two-time Super Bowl champion, and that is how we wrap up this series. This was a very fun season with the playmakers around Andy McKenzie. Eventually, the offense found their groove. 
Brian Cushing is your Super Bowl MVP with his two interceptions of Eli Manning. I believe both of those came early on in the game. But Andy McKenzie also played a big role despite the turnovers in that third quarter. He was able to rebound, and with the help of rookie tight end Fisher Roberts, a player who struggled to just catch the football early in this season, comes through on multiple big occasions with two huge touchdowns from Andy McKenzie, and that helps propel the Houston Texans to a 27-20 victory. A satisfying moment for Andy McKenzie as he lifts the Lombardi Trophy in Minneapolis and earns his third championship ring. Of course, he did have one at Minnesota the year he broke his tailbone in week one. But the goal was to see Andy McKenzie win a championship, not on the bench. He did that twice in this series. Thank you all for supporting the Andy McKenzie Career Mode series. Let me know what you thought of this episode down below in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this final episode, please leave a like. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel for all the other series that I am doing. I am now focusing on my San Diego Chargers franchise on Madden 17. And over on my second channel, I do have a Vikings franchise in a player lock fashion. It's a very different series than I've ever done before. And I do have Andy McKenzie as a player in my Super Mega Baseball series if you want to see Andy McKenzie pitch and occasionally hit. But that's going to wrap up the Andy McKenzie Career Mode series, everybody. Thank you all again. I had a great time with this series and continuing the legacy here of Andy McKenzie on my channel. He is one of my favorite players to come across any of my series. And he's been part of some of the most fun experiences here on my channel. Have a great day, everybody. I'll see you next time.